Hey everybody, welcome back to Tenza Motorsports. In today's video, we are gonna be putting in a catch can system, installing it on our supercharged M54 B30 motor. I'll show how to do that. This is supplied to us by Max Peating Rods. I'll have the link to their stuff in the description below, and you can get a discount using the links and code down in the description. This system right here is an active auto work supercharger, and I'm gonna show how easy it is to put a catch can system on this car. Before we get started, make sure you are following us on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports, where we do giveaways. And as always, everything that we use today will be linked in the description below. Now, as you can see, the valve cover is off. You don't have to do this. If you already have an active auto work supercharger kit, this whole entire thing is super easy to do. Basically, you have your crankcase vent. This is the one that sits right in front of the motor. That is gonna go into your lower port. If you've done this Active Auto Works Supercharger Kit already, you've done modifications to your CCV that basically blocks off your intake. So we don't have to do anything else. We're gonna cap the dipstick return line. The hardest thing about today is finding a spot for this. I think I have a spot for it. I'm a little bit worried because we're gonna be doing this on a naturally aspirated car. In our last video, I'll have that linked over here. We unboxed this and I showed that we had two kits. One kit is gonna go on this car, which is a supercharged system. The other kit is gonna go on the black M3 that we have. We're gonna show that on a naturally aspirated install. And then we are doing a VF engineering supercharger kit. So we're gonna actually be doing three different installs. And eventually we're hoping that we get this black car, the other one that we've been working on turbocharged, and then we'll have to redo the catch can or do a slight variation of the same thing. Now, I wasn't going to, and you don't have to, we talked about this in the unboxing video, you do not have to take the original CCV system out of your car. You can basically just tap into this and then plug your dipstick tube. Something unfortunately has pushed my hand to have to take the intake off and now we're gonna be removing the CCV system. This line right here, which goes to, uh, I believe the fuel uh, regulator. Well, that slipped off of the connector that's underneath the intake. Unfortunately, it's right in the middle of the intake. So it had to come off. So while I've got this all apart, I'm going to be removing the CCV system, getting rid of all that, and then I don't have to worry about it again. So this is an excellent way to vent your crankcase vapors and to get rid of the CCV system that tends to have issues. This car was having some issues, which is why I've got oil here in the intake. I think that my system was just a little bit too much for the stock diaphragm or whatever's going on in there. I was sucking too much oil into the intake. That's not always a super bad thing, but it can lead to some bad things. So you don't want that for extended periods of time. So let's get this thing installed. I think it's gonna go over there in the extra space we've got up by the firewall. I'm sorry it's so dark, but underneath here is your old CCV system. What they have you do in the instructions of the supercharger install is the bottom of this line right here, the bottom of that elbow, you can just barely see the hose clamp in there. They actually have you cap that off. So this system right here, I can just leave it, it's fine. You can, if you want to, you can put plugs there and another plug on that side, but we're just gonna leave it for right now. The CCV, the actual system back in there, is gonna be dug out. I'll pull all that out and remove it. And then this is one of the few pieces that's gonna be left over. This system right here, I think, what I'll be doing is be taking a razor blade and cutting this and then slipping this hose off the connector and using the connector to go to our hose. I was thinking maybe I can go this 90 degree hose and go straight back and actually run it underneath the engine cover, straight back, take a left onto the passenger side, mount the catch can in there
we're gonna reuse this hose. This hose used to be the one that went to the CCV and then went over to the intake. We're gonna reuse that hose. It's a little tight. You can see there's a bit of a bulge there, but all I did was just warm that up a little bit and then shove it in there. I am gonna be running a hose clamp, something nice in there. I am going to set this here and then I removed the foam from this uh, and then that should free up a little bit of space. I think I can get this to run through here enough to put the engine cover back on there. Now we are gonna go to the parts store because I do need some parts and I'll make sure to tell everybody what it is. I don't know what size this hose is because this is the one that came with the kit. I need to get a, a connector that goes from this hose to this one. I'll make sure to tell everybody what size that is. And then I need to go over to the store and get a plug for the dipstick return line. Once we're to that point, I think that's the only thing you have to buy extra is we can go from here to here, reuse this hose, get a connector, plug the dipstick tube. I think that's it. So let's go to the parts store, get some of those parts, and then we'll pick up from there. The old system is out, here it is. And you would think, okay, well, this just goes straight across. So the top goes to the top, bottom goes to the bottom, and then instead of going back to your uh, return line, it just holds on to it, and then you have to drain it yourself. Now, because this is a vented system, if you do a vacuum line on the top, and your crankcase on the bottom, you'll actually have a massive vacuum leak. So very, very simple. We're gonna be taking the crankcase hose, which used to go to here, and is now gonna to go to the bottom one here. This one will be capped off. This is a hose that we stole to run underneath that one uh, engine cover. And then obviously we've capped off our dipstick tube. I'm thinking I'll probably use this one um, as my cap. So, Unfortunately, these are really big, these AN10s, and this uh, kit here that gave me vacuum caps, this one's not big enough. So what we'll do is we'll just slide this on there, and then we'll put it on here, and then this one goes to your crankcase. Now let's talk real quick about an enclosed one, because an enclosed one would be super simple to do. The same thing, vacuum goes here, your crankcase goes here, and then it's up to you whether you reuse the system or not. And then one other thing, we're going to take this cap and we're going to put it on the intake. So where this line used to sit, which is the one that we stole, this used to go over to the intake, we're going to cap the intake. So there's no more vacuum, there's no leak, because you don't need it for this anymore. That connector that I got, that's right there, it ended up being a 5 8 to 3 4 So let's come over here to the dipstick. I just pulled this out. I wasn't going to pull this out because you can do this while it's in the car, but I thought I'd pull it out just to show everybody. And I've already got a bunch of the intake pulled apart so that I can reach it. So here is the vacuum plugs that I bought. I think we can run this one here on it and you'll basically, you'll just cap this off and then put a clamp on it. I think this one will fit. It's gonna be a little tight. Yeah, there we go, look at that. I am gonna clamp it down because it's just not worth it to skip things like this. I've had too many of these fall off. Oh, it's friction fit. Oh, it's a vacuum line, blah, blah, blah. Just put a clamp on it, it's not worth it. So I'm gonna put one here and then we're gonna get this put back where it goes. As you can see here, I actually did get it to sit right in there and I think that I can actually hide this. So this won't look hardly any different up front here. We're not gonna be swinging them out, which is good because that'll leave room for when we eventually do an oil cooler because there's gonna be lines coming off of this as well. And so basically there'll be lines all over the place. You get all this done, you get the oil cooler and you get a fuel cell and this engine bay is gonna be pretty busy. So it is best to keep it super low profile um, clean up as best you can. Um, I, it looks like such a mess right now, but I'm gonna try my best to get everything nice and organized today. All right, everybody, final iteration of the catch can. We come over here to our intake, and you can see that that has been capped off. And luckily enough, I was able to use the largest one on that, the actual caps, the second largest one, and then the third largest one on the dipstick. So I have two full sets. So I have this car and the other car we're gonna be doing later on. Where they are all vented, most will be very similar to this. Um, it's really just how you plug off the rest of your vacuum line so you don't have a leak. So let's go over this one more time real quick. Cap this off, remove the line. That line I reused here. Cap off your dipstick return line. Take the CCV system out. We did a 5 8 to 3 quarter connector here. You could get away with uh, two 3 quarters if you needed to. 
just a double sided three quarter. Then we go up and over into the lower port there. And then the upper one has a cap on it. Pretty simple. I am excited about it. Um, as you can see here, it's gonna be basically completely invisible. Let's do this real quick here. So this will slide and sit. Just like that. I've gotta get some stuff down in there in the back. I think I've got some um, O2 sensor wires that are in the back. That's the system. That's what it looks like. I really appreciate everybody so much for watching. All of this will be linked in the description below. Use the links down in the description, code Tenza, get a discount on your max peeing rod order next time you go and buy some performance parts. Before I wrap up today though, I wanna go get it started. So let's go see how it runs. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Accessory on and then ignition. Started right up. Doesn't seem to be shaking or anything like that. Okay, I'm not sure how much you guys can hear me because the car is really loud, but looks like it uh, looks like it started right up, and uh, I'm not feeling any misfires or anything like that. So I think we're good. I'm, I'm still going to tune the car. I was already planning on doing that, but you may have to. So don't think that this is something that if you just slap on you're fine well there you go catch can install very happy with it make sure to use code tenza when you're checking out at max speeding rods to get a discount on your order thanks so much for watching any comments or questions down in the description below we'll see everybody in the next video